My name is Daniela Perez. I was born on April 25, 1995, which makes me 18 years old and the youngest of three girls. I was born in Cali, Colombia, where I only lived for three years before moving to Florida. I lived there for 13 years until my dad got a great job offer in California. I have lived here for the past two years. To me, being passionate about something means you will do anything to become this person that is so infatuated with what they are doing. I may love many things, but nothing comes close to the feeling I get when I hang out with special needs kids and children that live in poor conditions. Many people say I changed their lives, but they are the ones that have shaped and changed mine. I have been involved in this since I was about 12 years old and I have made long life friendships and will continue to be passionate about this. I will never regret the time I spend with these kids, rather I will cherish those moments forever. Like a flower, I believe everyone is unique in their own way and the different events in our lives make us who we are. My parents and grandparents are my stem because they support me and teach me what I need to know in order to stand tall. They have all been there for me when I needed their guidance and have always encouraged me to work hard for what I want, as well as teaching me that it is important to get out of my comfort zone in order to be the best person I can be. I believe that without their sense of direction, my stem would have broken a long time ago, or at least been extremely bent by now. The things I love to do make up my center. The beach is my happy place. It is where I go to get away for a little and have a good time, whether it's with my friends or my family. I love California's beaches, although I do miss the warm water of the East Coast. In five years, I see myself graduating from UCSB after attending SBCC as a dentist, and in 10 years, I see myself living here, whether it's working while enjoying the beautiful state or raising a family. Along with the beach, music is another way for me to escape. I began going to music festivals and concerts when I was in 8th grade. My mom says I lost myself to music and have stayed there ever since because I spend hours looking up new music and listening to old music and I always have something to say when it comes to music. Although we are very different from each other and have different personalities, my two older sisters are my pedals because no matter how strong the wind is or how many people try to yank us apart, Together, we always find a way to stay strong and get through it, no matter how many fights we get into or hard situations we face. I have always considered myself lucky to be the youngest because I have two great role models that have always had the best advice since they are older and have usually already been through what I need advice on. It's good to know that they are one of the few things that will be there for me even when everything else is changing. I also love that we can be away from each other for a long time and nothing will ever change between us. My friends are the butterflies that surround me with laughter and joy, shower me with positivity, and are constantly coming back. Because we have watched each other grow up and have so many memories together, the friendship I have with my best friends is irreplaceable, and they are the ones I go to with anything and everything. My new friends at Great Oak helped me create new memories and made my senior year easier than I ever thought it would be, and have become very close friends of mine. The sun is an energy source for flowers. I get my energy from traveling. I have traveled all around Colombia and the United States and I will be traveling to Europe this summer. All the places I have visited, the people I have met, and the foods I have eaten are proof for me that living is a gift. I especially like learning about different cultures because it helps me understand and be more accepting of others and to me that's very important. Through high school I have used teamwork a couple times because I have had to work with many different people. No matter how hard you try not to get partnered with the lazy kid, it happens. I learned that communication is essential for times like these. It is important to tell them exactly what they have to do and keep reinforcing them to get it done on time. If worse comes to worse, you do it yourself and either give them credit or you talk to your teacher. Being able to deal with uncooperative people is an obstacle I'm sure you will encounter, but it will make you better for the next time around. My favorite English moment in high school was my sophomore year because I love reading and we spent the year reading different books that I really enjoyed.
To all incoming freshmen, my advice to you would be to definitely enjoy the next four years. For most of you, these will be the last years for you where you actually have time to do whatever you want and not be so responsible. Make new friends and create great memories and don't get involved in drama because there will come a point when you realize you spent so much time fighting about something not even worth caring about. Academically, my best advice would be to apply yourself. Don't be lazy because it's very easy to pass a class as long as you try. Great Oak has helped me prepare for academic success with interventions because I really took advantage of them and used that time to study or do work, and without it, I probably wouldn't have studied as much as I did or gotten my work done on time. I got involved in our school garden a couple times to help keep it clean and healthy. I learned that it's not as easy as it looks, and Ms. Burdick-Rutz deserves many props for managing it so well and keeping it looking so beautiful.